Hello, thanks uh, for watching our podcast again this week. Uh, uh, a lot of this week was spent focused on the wildfires that we're experiencing in New Mexico and throughout the Southwest and really uh, many parts of the country. Uh, we had a, of course, in New Mexico, we, we not only are threatened by the Wallow Fire, which is continuing to threaten uh, the small community of Luna, but uh, we also, of course, have had fires uh, down near Carlsbad uh, Caverns, uh, uh, fire up uh, north of Raton, between Raton and Trinidad, and, and clearly uh, uh, there's a danger of fire throughout our state because of the very dry circumstances and conditions that we have this year. Uh, we had a good hearing in our Energy and Natural Resources Committee on the subject of fire and, and what the Forest Service in particular is doing to prepare to deal with it. The head of the Forest Service, the chief of the Forest Service, uh, Tom Tidwell, uh, spoke to us and he assured us that the Forest Service has the resources and the personnel that they need to respond to each of these fires that have cropped up. and. Uh, uh, he said that that's uh, clearly the case. Uh, we obviously have some major challenges in the years ahead. We have to uh, replace the uh, air tankers that the Forest Service has available to them to spread fire retardant on these types of fires. Uh, we also, of course, have to be sure that we can bring on and maintain uh, trained, a trained workforce to fight these fires. Uh, a lot of the people who are currently fighting the fires are, are reaching an age where they will not be fighting the fires in future years and we need to be sure young people are coming into that, into that workforce and uh, helping uh, fill those positions. But uh, this is a very difficult time for the state, for a lot of residents in the state because of the extreme danger of fire and the actuality of fire in uh, some uh, cases. but. Uh, I'm hoping, as I'm sure everyone in the state is, that uh, when we get into July, we'll have some rain, we'll, we'll have less of a fire threat at that point, and, uh, and maybe we can get this behind us. But uh, I think our, our Forest Service personnel are doing what they can to respond. It's a very difficult circumstance, so we have gotten some federal money to uh, accelerate the uh, thinning of some of the uh, very densely overgrown uh, areas in the forest and that's that's going to be a help. Again thanks for watching and uh, uh, we'll try to do another one of these next week.